Hey, this is Camille, and did you know that not all fonts are safe to use in PowerPoint? There are some fonts that will radically mess up your presentation, and in this video, I'm going to tell you which ones they are and how to make sure you're using the safest possible fonts for PowerPoint. I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite fonts and font combinations for PowerPoint presentations. But before I tell you what fonts for sure will break your presentation, let's first talk about the safe fonts. Although PowerPoint is supposed to be compatible across versions and installations, there are a few areas where it's not compatible. And one of those is with fonts, even the default fonts that come with your computer and that come with Microsoft Office. If you use a font that isn't supported by the computer that's opening the presentation, the font will be substituted for the theme's default fonts, most often Calibri. And this may change the entire look, layout of your slide and of all of your text, just like in this example. If you're only ever using PCs and PowerPoint 2016, for example, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. But if there's a chance your presentation will be displayed on another computer that uses an older version of PowerPoint, especially pre-2010, or if the computer is a Mac, then you need to be careful with what fonts you're using. And chances are you're going to be uh, in this situation. There are very few fonts that are safe across Mac and PC, as well as all versions of PowerPoint. And these are Arial, Arial Black, Comic Sans MS, Corgur New, Georgia, Impact, Lusta Sans Unicode, Times New Roman, Trebuchet MS, Verdana. These are pretty restrictive, I know, but if you want to truly be compatible across all devices, there are really only a few that you can use, and those are the few. Now, one thing I recommend doing if you're ever going to build a presentation with a risky font is to test the look of the fonts if they were to wig out. So try changing all the text to Arial and see how it looks. Okay, so now that we know what the safe fonts are, let's talk about the fonts that are likely to break your presentation. And maybe you've guessed already what that is. They are custom fonts. In other words, fonts that you've installed yourself on your computer. And while custom fonts look cool, the problem with using them in your PowerPoint presentations or your Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, etc., for that matter, is that they will only display on another computer if you install them there too. That's definitely something you can do to a colleague or a boss's computer if you know they're the only one going to use the presentation. However, if you're sending out the document to a bunch of different people, ensuring that they install the font you're using on their computer can be tricky, if not impossible. And it can also be illegal if your font is copywritten and if you're the only one allowed to use it. And just to quickly explain custom fonts, custom fonts are ones that you can download for free on the web. To see our favorite sites to get free fonts, check out my article up here. Or custom fonts can also be fonts that you've purchased and installed. Using custom fonts is a great way to make your presentation stand out and look super cool. And here are some examples of fonts um, and font combinations that I like to use. They're an infinite number. You can find a ton of them on the web, um, but these are just some examples. And again, they will only work on your computer unless they're installed on somebody else's computer. Now, one way to go around this uh, that some people like to do is to embed fonts into your PowerPoint presentations, but I don't recommend this option because it tends to not work very well, and some fonts won't even let you embed them depending on their licensing. It's more likely to screw things up for you and leave you stranded, so I never recommend embedding fonts into your presentations, and I almost never do myself. Another way to use custom fonts while still having them display correctly on any device is to save your presentation as a picture presentation, which Taylor explains how to do in another video uh, that you can see right here. Or you can also save your presentation as a PDF. Now in both of these formats, the end user is not able to edit the content of your presentation, so that is a limit, but um, all the text with a custom font will display correctly, and so at least the end result will look exactly the way that you want it to look. So to recap this video, the general rule is to avoid using custom fonts wherever possible in presentations that need to be edited by more than one or two other people. And if you have to use custom fonts, you can save them as a picture presentation or as a PDF to ensure that they look all right. And again, test, test, test. Even if you are uh, almost certain of the way that a presentation is gonna be used or the way your fonts look, I would still recommend testing it on a Mac, on an older version of PowerPoint if you can find it, and and just trying to see um, if there's any way the fonts will look strange. Hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please leave a comment, give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know how you like to use fonts. Um, if there are any custom fonts that you like in particular, or if you found any tricky workarounds for using custom fonts in presentations. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. This is Camille, and I will see you at happy hour.